Statistics and Excel, exponential distribution in seconds, roller coaster line example. Got data? Let's get stuck into it with statistics and Excel. You're not required to, but if you have access to OneNote, we're in the icon left hand side, OneNote presentation, 1576 exponential distribution in seconds, roller coaster line example tab. We're also uploading transcripts to OneNote so you can go into the view tab, use the immersive reader tool, change the language if you so choose, be able to either read or listen to the transcript in multiple different languages using the timestamps to tie in to the video presentations. OneNote desktop version here in prior presentations, we've been thinking about how we can represent different data sets, both numerically using calculations such as the average or mean, the quartiles, the median, and pictorially using the box and whiskers and histogram. The histogram being the primary tool we visualize when thinking about the spread of data, and we can describe the spread of data on a histogram using terms such as it's skewed to the left, it's skewed to the right. We're now looking at uh, functions or formulas that have a smooth curve or a line related to them, which oftentimes can approximate actual data sets in the real world. And if we can approximate our data sets with a line, that would be great because it'll typically give us more predictive power over whatever it is we're looking into. In prior presentations, we looked at families of these uh, types of formulas, these curves, including the uniform distribution, the Poisson distribution, the binomial distribution. Now we're looking at exponential distribution. Now the exponential distribution often has a relationship to the Poisson distribution. So oftentimes we're gonna kind of flip the question around when thinking about a Poisson distribution to the question that we'll be thinking about with an exponential distribution. So oftentimes with a Poisson distribution, just to set the groundwork, we're talking about in business scenarios, line weighting situations where we ask questions such as, what's the likelihood that so many people will be arriving within some interval of time, like one minute or one second, for example. We also had uh, a problem, not over time, but over distance, such as, how many uh, how many potholes would show up in a mile of road. But we're going to now look at our time example. So if we think first about like the Poisson, and then we'll kind of convert that to the uh, exponential for a line waiting situation for like a roller coaster ride, for example, X is going to be the arrivals during one minute. And we're going to say that the mean is going to be uh, 3.25. So the 3.25 is the mean arrivals within the time frame distance of one minute. So this is going to be the Poisson distribution, not the exponential. This is just the starting point. If I was to graph this out, X is going to be equal to the arrivals during one minute. So what's the likelihood that zero people arrive in one minute? We're going to say that that's going to be the 3.88 according to our Poisson dot dist function, which is going to be taking uh, the X, which is going to be this, is we have a, a, a range here, a spill that we're taking. That's why the hashtag is there, comma. The mean, 3.25. And then the cumulative, it's not cumulative. That's why it's going to be a zero because we're looking at just the zero. We did that all the way down. What's the likelihood that one person shows up in the one minute time frame? The 12.6. What's the likelihood that two people show up? The 12.48. If I wanted to know the likelihood of having zero to three people show up within the one minute time, I can then say 3.88 plus 12.6 plus 20.48 and so on. So we looked at that in a similar presentation in our prior uh, practice problems. And we can also look at the, the curve would look something like this. So here's our, our Poisson uh, curve. So now we're going to say, okay, well, now we want to ask a different question and say the minutes between arrivals. So now we're getting to our exponential distribution. So now we're saying, all right, well, if there's going to be a, a mean of 3.25 people arriving within a one minute time period, what's, the, what's going to be the mean minutes 
between arrivals. So see how we kind of flipped it on its head? We're looking at the minutes between arrivals. Well, that means we can take the, the, uh, the 3.25 divided by one. Hold on, other way around. <laughs> one divided by one minute divided by the 3.25. And that gives us about 